what's happening friends welcome back to roleplaying unlimited presents tuesday night against the serpents hosted by j man himself one of roleplaying unlimited's greatest friends here thank you so much for putting this together for all of us we are very excited to uh jump back into this game after a month off the last session would have been on halloween so uh we skipped that one but we are back Let's get uh, the live scene underway. Okay. And uh, let's jump into chat, and then we will turn it over to uh, the man himself. How are we doing, nerds? <laughs> Doesn't mean he can't also use that scimitar, but you know, he, he did get a, a pretty badass bow, so... <clears throat> Well, hello there, friends. The uh, stream is live. J-Man is in charge, and we are ready for another site. Sight, another night of exciting adventure. <laughs> I have such sights to show you. Oh! <laughs> oh my. Sorry. Let's see, is everybody here not quite? All right, so I've got the scimitar. Few more minutes, let everybody else get logged into roll twenty here. I got your name. I got your ass. It doesn't matter what you think. Yeah, they might have asked everybody. I don't know why it asked me to reset my password. That was weird. What? That's because it was trying to take your password. What? <laughs> Holy shit. I'll be right back, fellas. My food's arriving now. My character become level 20, holy shit. It says little perks you get for doing things like hosting streams. Oh, fantastic. And then uh, I know he won't do I know he won't abuse it, he'll just sleep over there in the corner. Exactly. <laughs> level 20 snore coming up right here, dude. Hey, I let you win at uh Munchkin on uh Sunday, uh Saturday, so Oh, you fun? let you you <laughs> let me win, huh? <laughs> I played. I was there. <laughs> yep, he saw it. Yes, I was present. I had cards. I participated. <laughs> you started off like the best out of all of them. <laughs> I really did. My levels were not there, but literally every magic item that I obtained, with the exception of one. I was able to immediately put into play. Like, that's very rare and few and far between. So, uh, equipment-wise, I was very happy. And it was looking good there toward the end, but, uh, you got three level nine characters like that. You know what happens. It's such a fun game. <laughs> Car Wars is one of my favorite RPGs that nobody plays anymore. Played that once. It was entertaining. Uh, it doesn't look like um, Osmong has logged into Roll20 yet. Who's that? Uh, Roboman? It's Jarrett. He's he's getting... Uh, he he just hopped on real quick and said that he, his food was arriving. And right. Ah. Right back. Yeah, I thought I recognized I chirped at him saying... <laughs> ah! So Brad's in the... So Brad I got retired. <laughs> so Brad is in the Discord... And he's trying to talk, but like I see his little like icon light up, but we I can't hear him. Oh, uh, dis uh, disconnect and jump back in. That's almost like a weekly thing. It's kind of who draws the short straw this week. But that's two weeks well, in a row. It happened. That's two weeks in a row. Well, that's fun. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, somebody always gets. Sometimes I get it like halfway through a stream. Mm -hmm. I just I suddenly not hear anybody. I'm like, what the hell. Yeah. <laughs> Let's try a Brad test here. No. Oh! I don't see his light coming on either, though. I saw see his it. light. Yeah, he's trying to talk. 
I don't imagine it's possible that in his settings he somehow reduced his output volume all the way to zero. I mean, that would have been the world's weirdest uh, butt dial ever, but I guess it's possible. <laughs> That's funny. I don't know. It just changed my output device not too long ago, so I couldn't hear anybody who was talking. It's been doing that to me on Streamlabs every session with my input device, so if you notice, like, two streams in a row, I was like, all right, let's start this up, and you can't hear me talking, so I had to, like, relink the mic. Okay, I'm gonna go check it. I'll be right back. It's a trap! And while we have a brief lull here, a very happy birthday to Big Daddy Pancake. Hope you're having a good day there, brother. My birthday was on the 27th. I'm 30 now. 30? Oh my god, god that's so young. <laughs> happy birthday, Gorg, my birthday brother. Yeah, happy belated, brother. My oldest is 31. Holy crap. I am your child, Daddy! <laughs> so that was one uh, one incident that happened at that time, and it happened again for like 10 more years. I will still call you Daddy. That's okay. I usually have to pay for it, so don't ask for too much extra. <laughs> oh my. Hopefully we can get What right now? Yes. Why do you have the like full character list showing up on the Twitch stream? Don't worry about it. <laughs> I, was just, I was just looking at the Twitch stream and I'm like, what the hell is that stuff doing there? I'm like, hey, That's wait. An <laughs> you just have the initiative order up. Uh, Brad, you there? I heard something a minute ago. I, I hear I heard him talking him from, from the other room. <laughs> <laughs> but I saw he on my side it kind of lit up and I heard like like static like a mic but no talking but now I don't there's not even lighting up anymore oh, wait, hey Brad do you want to try a different mic can you hear me hello hello hey, hey there he hey. is holy crap that's been a pain thanks <laughs> yes Brad's arm ripper <laughs> One thing I was going to uh, suggest just as a uh, organizational detail and also so we don't uh, unintentionally spill those details in the stream for everybody else there again, J-Man. Uh, next time you get into the journal when you have a second, uh, create a new folder and put all those uh, character sheets into it. Well, maybe I should just take somebody's GM privileges away. <laughs> <laughs> that works too. I mean, then I won't be able to well, say you want, I didn't want to say shit. <laughs> yeah, technically, I don't need to see shit on this page. Conversely, right. I wonder if I could... Hey, I can! I can create a folder. So I'll just do that real quick. Okay. I imagine I got more time here than you do. So, yeah, go right ahead, brother. For sure. All right, now that we're all here, it looks like. Yeah, all right. Uh, short recap, we have uh, traveled to the Glacier of the White Worm in the, uh, the monastery of the Yellow Rose that is overlooking it. Uh, you have traveled down to engage with the orc tribes in the area that have been apparently agitated by the arrival of the apprentice you know, known as Sunyua, who has been trying to agitate the orcs in the area to attack the neighboring kingdoms. So you have come to deal with that problem and you have indeed run into a large group of orcs very aggressive who upon sighting your group uh, immediately uh, attacked 
And we are in the middle of that attack. Uh, I believe there is a hex on one of the orc veterans up front here. And Tenebris has the unfortunate distinction of being the subject of a heat metal spell. I don't want it. No, it's there anyway. A few of you have taken a little bit of damage, it looks like. Um, some of the orcs have been brutalized as well. And that looks like that's where we're starting off. It looks like Safira has the top initiative. So you can go ahead whenever you're ready. Okay, just give me a second to... Uh, I have a sticky note on my um, <laughs> desk from two weeks ago. Because I remember right. what I was going to do. So just give me a second to figure out where I want to place it. Uh, good, good idea, because I'm sure you'd have forgotten otherwise. I hope it's a fireball right in that middle of the big group. We don't have fireball <laughs> yet. Nobody's level five. I got a, I got a necklace with fireballs. I don't know about you guys. Do like some kind of area of attack damage, like acid splash. Or... Okay, right here. I'm going to cast. Uh, I think it's this fat or not the mage armor. Okay. Uh, 60 feet, one action. Oh, ah, what is that? She's here! Oh my god! I oh, was just checking if I can uh, deposit art onto your uh, board here. Very nice. Uh. <laughs> so I have a Why question. are you here, bitch? <laughs> the wrong game! Sorry. It's asking me cast at what level. Does it matter at what level I cast these things? I think it's level two on my sheet. Is that what I need to cast it, it here? Or? So uh, with some spells, um, if you upcast it, like if you used a third level slot instead of a second level slot, it would do more damage. I have all the way to level nine. No, you don't have available. those slots. Okay. Uh, okay, cool. No, no, so I don't. can pick, as long as I have a <laughs> slot, then I can yeah. pick that. F okay, gotcha. Yeah, so it has to be at least level 2, because it's a level 2 spell. You cannot use a level 1 slot for that. But it, once you get higher level slots, you can use those to do more damage. Okay, but I don't have a level... Th I don't think I have level 3 spot, slot... I can't even talk. Level no. 3 slots. Okay, cool. Got it. You do not. <laughs> That's too bad, because I was going to go for either level 3 or level 9. But here we go. So seven points, DC 14, and you're trying to get as many of these guys up here as Yeah, you can. I, I put it like right in the middle, so it's 10 from every single one of them, like 10 feet away. All right. So let's see. And now I can throw away my sticky note. <laughs> Constitution. Be gone, no, no stick. One, two, three, four, five, six orcs and an orc veteran. So let's see. Orcs, constitution saves. Six of them. He'll make it. He'll not make it. He won't make it. He won't make it. He won't make it. He'll make it. And then... The guy... Move. He won't make it. All right, so we've got is it half damage. I'm gonna say so half if they make it. Okay, so seven or three. Okay, so he'll take three. He'll take seven. I'll take seven. 
Seven. Seven for this guy. Seven for this guy. And three for this guy. He was already hurt, looks like. Wait. You came to chew bubble gum and fuck shit up, and you're all out of bubble. Yep, so are you doing anything else? Uh, bonus action? Uh, no, that's it. All right. That brings it to all the orcs' turns. All right, let's see. So, this handsome fellow who is trying to kill Vizor, he's going to continue trying to kill Vizor. Appeared. He is a. He's got a maul, so he's gonna smack you with his hammer. Oh, no, no, eighteen no, 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 to hit! No. Oh god! Ow! By one. Uh, Whack! Oh, that's right. I fucked up last game. It only works if they approach me. I should have left last game. Okay, got mm -hmm. it. Yep. All right. So he smacks you with his maul. Uh, it's his turn. Cool, bro. Let's see the guy. <laughs> uh, this guy over here. On Tenebris, he's going to use his maul to try and smack you down. Wow, 21 to hit. Yep, that'll hit me exact. Oh. Rolling real well tonight. It's, uh, nine points of damage, too. That's a hefty hit. Uh, let's, let's have this guy. He just saw what she did with her magic. He's going to come over to attack her. Uh, he did, in fact, leave Tenebris' Threatened Square, so you can take an attack of opportunity if you wish. Prone over there, get your oh. ass up! Alright, eight. Uh, oh yeah, so since I am kind of prone, it's disadvantage, but a 23 would still hit. <laughs> uh, 23 would hit. Uh, and eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, that is exactly what he has. So... This little mistake of trying to get past you to stab the mage cost him dearly. Um, this fella, he'll move up on the little goblin. Uh, the goblin's hidden in a snowbank. And that's what you thought. <laughs> you weren't hidden very well. <laughs> and uh, so he runs up and he's going to smash down on you inside that snowbank. With that big ass hammer it is. Damn! Another 24 for 11. You guys are on a roll. I'm gonna have the four archers that are up here take their shots. We'll have one shoot at Oz. Uh, no, Crag. One's gonna shoot at Crag. <laughs> Critical hit on Crag. For three points! Ah, wow. <laughs> you suck. <laughs> and we'll have another one of the archers shoot at Blaze. It was the most well-placed shot we've ever seen. It was quite I've... unfortunate the head of the arrow fell off. I've done more damage <laughs> with a grain of sand. Yeah, really. So the uh, one on Blaze is a five. Luckily, he did not have advantage. That's going to miss. Uh, we'll have one take a shot... That's Safira, because she's throwing magic around. 12 on Safira. And then another one. Uh, he'll fire at that you know, big double guy. He looks kind of crazy. I'm going to try to kill that with a 15 to hit on Osmond. Just misses. All right. That uh, group is going to remain where they are in defensive positions and that is it for the orcs the veterans so the one in front of osmong or sorry crag is going to attack crag back since we've been trading blows here for a minute yes i remember the uh two that moved in the area did not move very far so the veteran has this ability so he's going to take his two battle axe attacks and a hand axe attack on Crag. 18 and, and probably won't hit. Another 
number 18 with the hand axe. Yep, two of them here. Alright, so yeah, he's trying to take you down before you take him down. And that is his turn. The other veteran, he is going to take out his bow and take a couple shots at Blaze. Actually, he can only take one shot at Blaze. The 12, I doubt that's going to hit. Alright. That'll bring it to Tenebris' turn. You are... Right. No, um, let's see. So, I'm going to stand. Alright, happy move. I was awake. I was just on the ground, you dumbass. <laughs> Alright. <laughs> um... <laughs> I am going to use a bonus action. I mean, yeah, bonus action to cast spiritual weapon right over here. All right, let me get you a token for that. The uh, caster, right? Correct. All right, there's your uh, virtual weapon. <laughs> table knife. <laughs> um, I, I need control of my table knife. <laughs> oh, I'm like, where is it? Oh. <laughs> there you go. <clears throat> Table knife hits uh, a 19 for nine points of damage. 19 will hit. Nine points. Yes. Nine. Didn't work. Good. And he will work his concentration check. Uh, he will make his concentration check. Okay. Keep I was, metal remains. Yep. I was kind of waiting to see what he did with that. So I'm going to have to use a uh, first level spell, guiding bolt, and uh, shoot him. All right. Oh, deadly hit. Holy crap. Yes. Uh, yep. There we go. And that will take him down. He only had 26 hit points. So he did. And heat metal and is definitely not, not definitely not concentrated on that anymore. <laughs> all right, is that all you got? That'll end my turn. Okay, that brings it to Osmong Shatterhand. All right, uh, I'm going to fly up in the air a bit. I'll turn around and blast that one with Hex with an Eldritch Blast. Alright. Sixteen. Will hit. Alright, and then there's uh, the Hex damage as well. Mm -hmm. It didn't roll. Let me click the button. <laughs> so four from that, so six total. Okay. I take it you're still airborne as well. Uh, I'm actually going to move a little bit further and uh, hide right behind that cliff. 
Ah, okay. Then you'll have to land, most likely. I guess you could be hovering a little bit above the ground if you want, but you're basically still just in the uh, the ground floor. Ground right. Floor. How, how tall is that cliff? Uh, as it appears, it's about 10 feet, maybe. Um... Perfect. I'll go. I'll go just Here. to the just to the edge of it, uh, ten feet up, in case someone runs underneath me. Then I can give them the finger. Okay. Thank you, sir. That is my turn. All right. Blaze, it brings it to you. Oh, yeah, I guess you're are you attacking uh, this schmuck right here. All right, uh, 13 is not enough to hit. Uh, I do believe you can make that a reckless attack if you wish. The 25. Are you, is he trying to talk? Because I can't hear him, I guess. I can't hear I, him. I used the reckless attack, yeah, and I think it's the ah, 25. Okay. okay. So the 25 will definitely hit. Um, that extra slashing is for dragons only. Um, you were raging, correct? Yes. Okay, so and we reckless. got four. Alright, so we got 14 damage from the first attack, and then. 23 will hit for another 16. That'll definitely take him down. <clears throat> and that's what so that orc veteran is did. Are you gonna move at all, or are you, or are you done? Uh, unless I should. I, I thought I was still in a position to attack this guy. In well, he is one square forward, so you'd have to move up one to attack him. If you wanted to attack him next round, or you could move next next time too. It doesn't really matter. Because if I move now, he gets attack of opportunity, right? Only if you leave his threat area. If you move up to him, you're fine. Oh, okay. Yeah, then I'll, I'll move next round. Okay. That brings it to Craig. All right, I'm gonna just move up one, and then okay. give us on the guy reckless. To the top right. Okay. You step on the body of the veteran as he's falling down, like, ah, oh, I got away. Oh. <laughs> uh, 14 will. I was reckless. Well, he has a two handed weapon, so his armor class is not a 15. It is a 13. So you hit. Oh, 19 will hit anyway. <clears throat> For 12. Okay. He is still up. And I'm that's that's it for me. He is hanging on. Uh, is it my druid's turn? What's he gonna do? on his staff and then he looks like he's just kind of watching for an opportunity to do something more. Vigor. Alright. Um, well, I guess I'll uh, enact retribution or attempt to. Hmm. 
He hit you with a hammer. <laughs> I think I'm just gonna try my luck with the uh, plus one hand axe here, not knowing if this thing has any special frost resistor. Hey, 16. 16 course, will all the damage hit is on the wrong side he's... of it. <laughs> Yeah, you're not getting any sneak attack on that. Exactly. But he only had one hit point left. No way. <laughs> yep. Well, that's fantastic. You had you had, uh, you had you had gotten him pretty good last time, and he was just like, "Oh, I gotta <laughs> kill him before I die." <laughs> Damn it! That asshole got a good shot on me too. Okay, right, so, so that's action. Take him down with the hand axe. Ah. Oh. You're just on the edge of that uh, difficult terrain, by the way. Oh, okay. Um. Oh, that's right. I took a level of fighter. Just want to double check. What is this? That's already accounted for. Pretty sure. And Twitch stream I... viewers, if you haven't seen one of our other character sheets, that's what it looks like. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. How high is uh, Osmung above the ground? What was he, like 5, 10 feet? 10 feet, good sir. 10 feet, okay. Any uh, difficult terrain or uh, cover from the, uh, the snow-capped uh, brambles here? Those are uh, actually treetops. So it's actually a down by you, which is a tree trunk. Sure. Um, so it's not really difficult terrain. It's kind of snowy, but it's not too deep to cause you to be slowed up by it. Um, you could try to get cover from the tree itself, depending on what angle you wanted it at. Cool. Well, let's uh, start this off then. 5, 10, 25. Okay, and that'll definitely give you cover from, you know, obviously... <laughs> Like this direction. Sure. I think we're gonna do a uh, a hide cunning action. Okay. Um, stealth. Eh, decent. Just hiding behind the tree, like nobody sees me, right? <laughs> yeah. Try to take a uh, try to take a half knee, not going fully prone, but uh, definitely trying to maximize any uh, cover or obscurement possible with the uh, stealth. Okay. I'll slap a uh, ninja there just in case. Otherwise, that's my turn. Oh. Uh, Presley, you do have a big orc trying to smash it with a hammer. Well. I guess I not got no choice. I'm gonna shoot him with the bow. You'll be at disadvantage because you are, are in melee range of him. I will use my bonus action to disengage. There you go. Step back one and then use my bow, which should give me advantage because he's within five feet of somebody else, right? It doesn't give you advantage, but it does give you sneak attack. Then. Yeah, my sneak attack. I'm sorry, but according to Baldur's Gate 3, that is still technically a disadvantage on your ranged attack for some stupid fucking reason. <laughs> <laughs> I backed out of melee! What are you talking about? Well, it's so... too bad you didn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it. You want to use your uh, T3 so bonus yeah. for inspiration? Oh, wait, wrong game. <laughs> <laughs> as, you, uh, as you're backing away from this guy, you kind of trip over some of the uh, snowberry roots and kind of fall back onto your ass a little bit and the arrow just kind of goes brink <laughs> pops up in the air and that's all I got okay and that orc just kind of ha 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 stupid goblin well, fanatic is dead he can go away that brings it back to Sephira's turn alrighty um no, mm -hmm. uh, my spiritual dagger's gone too. Alright, I'm just gonna hit, I think, hit this guy up here. Okay. Uh, 
match, or as Bobo's Gate calls it, Bone Chill. Um, 21 one definitely hits. Six Necrotic. Ooh. Don't like that. Ah. Necromancer. Ah. <laughs> Is that all you got? Yeah, I'm going to stay here for a bit. All right. Back to the orcs. We got this. Ella still going to try and take out Tenebris. Nope. I'll be casting magic past me. You cast magic on me. Yeah, can't just wait. <laughs> Maybe not. Put that top. Hit you with my hammer. Eleven is gonna miss. Yeah. Or I could just stab you with my scimitar in my turn. And you just wait right guy, there. I'll take you out. This guy is gonna try to retaliate on Crag for having gotten stabbed by him. Ooh, a 24. Good thing you're raging oh. for half damage. <laughs> It'd really hurt if you weren't raging. All right, we got our archers. Uh, they don't really have a shot on the flying guy. It looks like they were excited. Yes, it's a bonus action for uh, healing potions there, Dan. Uh, Archers looked like they were excited when they saw the flying guy, but then he ducked behind the cliff and they're like, oh, where'd he go? Man and Hannah Boo Boo. So they are instead going to fire on the front line, Prague and Blaze. One of them is going to fire on Sephira as well because she's a wizard. A necromancer. Get her. So this is coming to Crag. Oh, another crit. Oh, God. This one's coming to blaze. I ain't doing it. Another one coming on blaze. 15. And then Sephira gets a four. <laughs> Critical miss. Yay. <laughs> My armor is seven. Do we do we hear a twink from a broken bow? <laughs> <laughs> Uh, no. He just kind of shoots into the snow next to him. Alright, so that is them. The other orcs are still holding their ground, waiting for your group to approach. I think they got a, a good tactic there for some reason. They're fucking orcs. <laughs> uh, the one veteran's down, so this... This veteran, he is going to use his bow... Hey, target Sephira because she seems to be a bigger threat to their group. Takes a shot at Sephira. Yeah, you can't hit shit with an eight. That brings it back to Tenebris. All right, I'm going to uh, take a stabby stab at the orc in front of me. Held on. Well. <laughs> is there anything giving you advantage? <laughs> um, hold on. Uh, nope. All right. Nah. All right. <laughs> so you bury your flaming scimitar into the snow and you melt a nice little puddle around yourself. <laughs> All right. Let's Did see. Uh, bonus action. Oh, well, part of my move, I'm going to pick the... Scimitar back up. Doo -doo -doo. You didn't see that. Right. Um, let's see. How far away is this? Yeah, it's 20 feet. All right, so. That moves to the butter knife uh, goes to him and it makes an attack. All right. Well, that'll definitely hit. Much better showing this time. And that definitely takes him down. See, Time I was the distraction. Him. That was the real attack. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> he's laughing at you and then the little butter knife stabs him in the throat. <laughs> but it's just I, a butter knife. <laughs> I get some snow on top of him. <laughs> Good butter knife. <laughs> and right. uh, that will end my turn. That uh, brings it to Osmong again. 
All right. Uh, I'm going to fly up and cast a hex on one of those archers on the way back. Start picking them off before they start giving us trouble. All right. Uh, any particular one you want to target first? Okay. Him. All right. So I'll float up, gesture a hand at him, locks in, and then twist my hand, thrust it forward, whoosh, and uh, and throw an Aldrich Blast at him. Okay. And won't hit. Uh, 13 hits exactly. Oh, well, that's the damage. Oh, never mind. Uh, so yeah, 10 will not hit him. I float back down. <laughs> he like looks at you like, Arr! and they all kind of like turn their bows towards you as you go back down. Like, ah. <laughs> in I was too smart for that. <laughs> he yells something uh, insulting at you in Orcish. I curse them. And then, uh, uh, I'm done. All right, that's it. Uh, Blaze, your turn. Just trying to figure out if I can move up to those guys. Uh, well, this guy's still up, so you can definitely move up to him if you want. Take him down, and then maybe continue moving after that. But the fact is, you're still in difficult terrain, so it's going to be a harder for you to move anywhere. But you can certainly move up and take an attack on him. Um, you will need to do a reckless attack to hit him. do the reckless attack then the 12 yeah. points will kill him he only had three left so yeah that initial attack uh, takes him down well shit what a waste of a good roll um <laughs> damn and i don't i mean i already moved to get him so i don't think i have any more move uh, to get to the other. Uh, you only moved five feet. Uh, well, technically ten feet because of the difficult terrain. So you have another, basically two squares you can go if you want. There you go. Step on him and step to the next space. It's weird, you know, in the snow there's all this like weird vines and flowers and shit. The know, vines are just of... for the enemies. Oh, are they? Is so that, that difficult terrain does not affect allies. Correct. All right, then. You can actually move more than that, then. You can move two more. As soon as he said it, I was like, I got to look that up. It's good you did, because I thought it was a, just a universal thing. With me moving up, it looks like I'm underneath the outcropping. Does that mean I'm not in there? Uh, you probably have some form of cover from s at least some of those archers. Uh, one that one guy might ha this guy probably has a, a shot on you just because of his angle, but the other guys probably don't really. Okay, that's my. All right, that brings it to Crag. You've been pretty beat up. Yeah, I was going to take a bonus action and chug a pose. Okay. <laughs> I should say Vigil is all yelling there. Oh, wait, I'm trying to hide. Hey, you just... Oh, shit. <laughs> shh, shh, shh. <laughs> okay, so you heal up a little bit. as your bonus action. And I'm going to move up 30 and smack a mo. I assume that guy, okay. Reckless. Good thing he did a reckless, because that'll hit. Exactly. He's got a shield, so he's got a 15. <clears throat> 14 damage. 
Well, he had already been hurt by some magic, so he did. Sweet. And that's All right. On the druid's turn. Now, I don't know if that uh, those vines come with me or not. Uh, it doesn't really specify. It's not super wordy, so I leave that up to you, Dia. Yeah, look at it again. It might help him out if you post it again. I've, I've got it right here. It's in the handouts. Oh, okay. It's until your rage ends, so I would assume it kind of follows you. I uh, accept. Okay. So, uh, the druid, like I was joking. Ba -ba. Where? He is going to cast this. Gonna be centered on Blaze. So we're gonna go ahead and make a 20 foot radius circle on him. I'll make it dark green. Oh no. Make it really bright. Let's do that. Boom. So, a. You now, Craig's got this weird little effect of plants kind of going with him. And then all of a sudden, the druid up on the cliff encants some words, and even more weeds and vines sprout up. Uh, seems to be around Blaze, which will also catch Crag in the effect. Oh! No. Well. So, Crag and Blaze need to make strength saves. So, do these two works. All right, you both made that save. Uh, one of the orcs did, and one of the orcs did not. So this orc is entangled that on him. If you want to use that entangled token, you should be able to grab it and resize it to your needs there, brother. Oh, OK. Uh, Oh, it's going to block everything. If I do that, see, it's blocking stuff. Oh, you can, uh, <laughs> you can right the Lord to the map layer. You can right click it and put it to back. And then back. also, yeah, you could put it on the map layer as well. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I see. Okay. Yeah. Good deal, brother. Uh, that's that's big, man. Holy shit! I didn't realize just how big it was gonna be. Yeah, wow. twenty foot radius. Twenty foot radius or twenty <laughs> foot square? Twenty foot radius. Ouch! It says. Sorry, not to be like. Oh yeah, I just said twenty foot square. I just I see twenty foot. And I imagine radius. For sure, that's the uh, usual. It's as big as a fireball. Oh my god. <laughs> go. so in that case, those in that case these two guys aren't in it. Oh, very true, very true. Because I thought it was bigger. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. That's what she said. Try to entangle the two barbarians and of course strength is their best save. So they're like, ah, 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 ah stupid plants. All right, so that brings it to Vigor. Oh, yeah. 
Um. Hmm. Well, all the magic over there is kind of appalling. Uh, first and foremost, I'm going to go for a move. 15, 25. Hunch up over here next to uh, Osmong, except uh, a little bit lower. And I'm just going to shout over at him. You think you could bring some potions to the rest of the group? I don't know what you're doing. But uh, I grab out a couple of potions, basically just a... Looks like you got better movement. <laughs> And then bonus action, just to kind of shift under him here to there. And then I'm going to uh, just kind of drop the uh, hand axe in the snow and quick draw that short bow. And take was lost shot. forever. Oh, damn it. I didn't realize it was that sharp. Fuck. All right. Well, it was fun while it lasted. Well, I guess it doesn't matter which one I'm shooting. I'm sure it doesn't hit, but uh, this guy right here. No. It does not. And 10 extra feet. Kind of. I will back up uh, underneath <laughs> where Osmong is flying. And that's my turn. Um, okay. And you left your axe in the snow, huh? Uh, it's right here in front of me, yeah. Okay. Uh, so yeah, Presley. I look down and you. give him a thumbs up. <laughs> awesome. I have one potion in hand. That's all I was able to grab out. But, uh, nice. All right, I'm gonna slide up and use a bonus uh, bonus action to try to hide. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> hey guys, don't look at me. <laughs> He's constantly <laughs> hiding every time. You always forget to roll your frickin' glowing banner up before you go into a, a stealth there, bro. Like, it's a beacon, dude. He's got one of those uh, um, helmet lights that the miners use. He just has it on. <laughs> For a little guy, he's always standing out. And then I'm just gonna take a shot at... All right. He has a two-handed weapon, no shield. 24 will definitely hit. Um, let me see what his passive perception is. Does he see you? Passive perception is a 10, so he still sees your 7. So you will not get your advantage uh, sneak attack on him. Uh, but 10 fucking piercing is still pretty nice. Because he's only got 8 hit points, so he's dead. There you go. I'm going to move up the rest of the way and try to hide in these rocks over here. Okay. I can't hide, but just move up to the rock. Sure, sure. Get some cover from the archer at the very least. All right, that'll bring us to Sephira. All right, I'm going to use this. Hold on. I'm going to spend one sorcerer point okay. um, to, to do a... Um, a spell, and I want the spell to. Oh shoot, I forgot to switch it over. Land here, I believe. I think that's correct. Um, Where? I didn't second. see you. Oh, sorry. Ping. Oh my gosh. Uh, wow, I just really increased my screen size. Hold on a second, I gotta fix it. <laughs> <laughs> right here, I believe. I think that's correct. I think I measured it correctly. Yeah. Oh, by the cave. Okay. I was looking yeah. down here. Oh, yeah. All the way <laughs> up there. Yeah. Okay. Is it another chatter? It is not. Give me one uh -oh. second and I'll post. I totally forgot. I have a cloak of elven kind. My stealth checks had advantage. Oh, don't forget those things. <laughs> Can't forget those things. <laughs> I mean, in that instance, it doesn't really matter. He was dead anyway, but <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It would help when I hid in the snowbank. 
Yeah. <clears throat> okay, that's what that's what I'm doing. I'm doing the sleep up here on the, all these archers. Okay. Uh, probably wouldn't even need to do the distance spell to 90 foot range. Oh damn. Yeah, I I can't I can't get that. Like I have to be closer, and I I'm uncomfortable getting that close. <laughs> okay. Oh, I see. Yeah, you would have to get a little bit of more distance on that. All right. So you use that and. 32 hit points worth of creatures. Oh, you're using a second level slot for that? Yes. So 38 hit points worth. Let's see who we got here. None of these guys have been hurt yet. So they're at full health. Uh, uh, I'm going to get two of them. He's asleep. He's just sleeping. This guy, he, he's, just, he's just sleeping. I mean, if I was George, that's what I'd be doing on my birthday. Uh, Nobody giving sleeping. me shit he's about that sleeping. today, goddammit. I can fucking <laughs> sleep all I want. <laughs> I got my birthday so, in a few weeks. You better believe yeah. I'm going to be fucking sleeping. <laughs> <laughs> For uh, the 38 points worth of uh, hit points, uh, you get two of them. Because they each have 15 hit points. So, 30 total. Uh, fall asleep. Sweet. Okay, cool, that's it. Alright. Back to the orcs. Uh, hmm. I sort of want to deal with that entangle situation just yet. Oh, I restarted my uh, my thing because I couldn't see her roll or anything like that. She just did it direct to you. Oh! Oh, yeah. Yeah, she uh, say, whispered it to me. Yeah. yeah. That explains it's why I see it. <laughs> Yeah, it's, 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 I'm it's, blind! Yeah. <laughs> oh, wow, I didn't even notice that. <laughs> Holy shit, guys. I can, really... I can control the enemies here. I'm going to send them all fleeing in terror. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. I can control the cave, too. I'm going to move it closer to Score! us. Score! <laughs> they all kill each other. <laughs> Sorry, Jamie. Yeah, every, everything that uh, <laughs> the Zara did was... There goes uh, that level 20 character. <laughs> right? Oh, you've lost your privileges. Hang your head in shit. Yeah, only I and, and Dan, only GMs were allowed to see those roles. So, yeah, make sure you change it to public. Is that on her GM character only. sheet? I think so. Oh, I, can make, I can make that adjustment. No worries. Okay. Um, pardon me, Terry, while I manipulate your character sheet. Oh, no oh it has I the had whisper. To restart roll twenty, so because it gotcha. was mess, kind of messed up. It had the whisper yeah. toggle on, so I just turned it off. And ah, you should be there. Good you go. go. All right, so the two archers that aren't asleep are going to fire at. Well, how about the big dumb barbarian standing there, Craig? Since we can't get the flying guy. <laughs> what happened to this guy here? With the eyeball. Okay. He is, uh, he's got a hex on him. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Osmond. Gotcha, gotcha. Osmond gotcha. hexed him. Cool. Uh, so, two longbow shots coming at Crag. 14 and 8. Missing a miss, and a miss, and a miss. All right, so you're like, no! Uh, uh, let's <laughs> see. The rest of these orcs, now that you're up here. They're going to throw some javelins at you. So you're going to get one, two, three, four javelins thrown at Oz, uh, Crag. Here we go. One, two, three, four. Wow, two crits. Yikes. Fuck. Damn. But the other guy, the last guy, he will throw it at his friend. So the guy, that guy, got a natural one and hit that guy with his javelin. <laughs> he is almost dead because of his friend. <laughs> Iceland, wow. What's happening, Sarah? Good to see you there. Hope you're having a great trip out there in Iceland. My legs! Yeah. Craig's like, why am I the target? Well, you're the big guy in front. That's why. <laughs> big bad. 
these two guys are going to move up, guard the druid, and veteran, he is going to, he is going to keep his bow out, he sees what kind of a problem the caster, Safira is, he's going to try and shoot her again. The 15 to hit, I don't think that's going to hit it. No, one short. Ah. So he takes another shot at you this time. You're like, no! Ah. Ah. Stupid witch! Uh, brings it to Tenebris. Alright. I'm going to move. Let's see. I'm going to move up to... Here. Um, I'm going to utilize um, Sacred Flame on him. All right. That's a deck save. Yep. Deck save 13. Yep. He's like, no, not okay. today. <laughs> um, and then I'm moving. Um, the butter knife up to here. Okay. As my bonus action. And that'll sure. be done. Alrighty. Osmong. Yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, float back up and uh, let loose another Eldritch Blast. Wait. On the guy you have hexed. Yes, sir. All right, 23 will definitely hit. Uh, did you roll your hex damage yet? No. One! Uh, and then on my way back down, I'm going to look towards Craig uh, and uh, cast Healing Light with three charges. Yeah, true. I take it that's a bonus action. Yes, sir. All right. Well, that's 10 heals. 10 healing on Crag. Nice. Thank you, sir. And Blaze, up to you. And you made the initial strength save. The. Uh, the entangle just makes it difficult terrain for you, so it's a uh, double move. But you can easily get up to him. We'll definitely hit for 15. He was already damaged, so he is dead. And your bonus action to hit the other guy. He definitely did with his one hit point. And a javelin sticking out of his back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, come on. That was the best roll of the night. One freaking point. <laughs> he had a javelin sticking out of his back from his friend. <laughs> he was like, why? And you come up, I'll end your suffering. <laughs> he did. I. And that's, that's uh, I guess, this one. All right. That brings it to Craig's turn. Again, you made your strength save on the Entangle, so it's just difficult terrain until you get out of it. Cool. So I'm going to move up, well, to the left. Okay. And Reckless. Well, is not going to hit. He's got a shield. He's able to block your attack. Well, shit. Uh, that's it. I got nothing up. All right. On the druid's turn, he will stop concentrating on the entangle because it's not really helping anymore.
15 hit blaze. What's his AC 17? Looks like it. So the, uh, Assuming the token is correct. So the, uh, the druid moved up and tossed some fire at Blaze, but just kind of rolls along his armor. <laughs> yeah, I'm 17. Oh, Vigor. Uh, hey, uh, hey, bro, I forget. Did you grab one of these potions from me? I look down at my hand. Is it still there? Did Hasmong grab one of those potions last round? Uh, no, but if you leave it there, I'll grab it. Oh, that's okay, man. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna head off this way, snag my, uh, hand axe in the process and move over to here and uh, try as best I can to catch uh, Tenebris's attention in the progress. Open wide, friend! And I'm gonna try to force feed you a potion of healing there. And that is bonus action and move. Um, short bow still in hand. Uh, does it look like this dude's got some cover uh, from Crag being between the two of us? Would this guy maybe be an easier target, or this guy even? Um, definitely have a better line to him. Okay. Although this guy's up on the up on the ridge there, so you actually have sure. a pretty good shot on him too. Yeah, I'm gonna try a shot on the guy there on the ridge. Um. Boom! Ah. Oh. Could have been nice. <laughs> do not have advantage, unfortunately. But he's in melee, so you do get sneak. Sure. Oh, cool. So what's that? Thirteen. So thirteen. He had twelve hit points. Bitch in. He did. And uh, let's see. Uh, free action. I will uh, drop to the snow and begin making my snow angel. That's my turn. <laughs> <laughs> Don, did you get that healing? Um, let's see. Uh, no, I didn't get that healing yet. So seven points. Correct. All right, Presley, up right, you. Thank you. Of course, man. Of course. You saved my ass more than once. How tall is this rock face right in front of me? Is it climbable? It is definitely climbable. At uh, the spot you're at, it is about 10 feet tall. All right, then I'm going to try to climb it. That's going to be an athletics check. You happen to have advantage on those checks? <laughs> not, not athletics. Nope. I'm going to fall down in the snow. You are definitely going to fall. You don't really even get very far, so just put yourself back where you were. Um, <laughs> like, eh. <laughs> Alright, then I'm going to move over here and try to be stealthy so I'm kind of hidden. So let me try hiding again. Thank God for advantage. That was a strength save. Oh. Pay no attention what? to the man behind the curtain. You don't see me. <laughs> Alright, so advantage 15. Okay. So after, after failing failed. to climb up, you kind of crawl around the corner there. Then I'm going to shoot at the first guy I see. First guy you see, yeah, would be that fellow right there. Orc. He does not have a passive of 15, so you are hidden, so you will have advantage on this attack. Uh, he does not have a shield, so he has a 13 armor class. Look at that. Hit him on the money. 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 points of damage. He had 8 hit points left. 
He is dead. I would just like to say, look at all those wonderful rolls. <laughs> you still got it done, though. <laughs> is that it for you? Yeah, that's, I mean, I could try to hide, I guess. I think I did that already, right? Yeah, no, I'm yeah, good. You already, you already did that. So, brings it to Safira again. So, which one of these archers are asleep? I can't tell what the little um, icons mean. So, the two in the middle. This guy. And this guy. They have the sleepy face on them. This guy has a hex on him. That's why it's a, a weird dripping eye. So the hex, does that, does that mean he can't do anything? or? No, that just means he just takes more damage when Osbong attacks him. Ah, uh, okay. Alright, um... I think I will go... Hmm. Hold on a second. I'll go after this guy. I didn't see where you pained. This guy right here on the right. Okay, I got him now. Okay. Uh, 24 definitely hits, but it's only 4 damage. So with, with a whole 4. <laughs> yeah. his his uh, side a little bit. Ah, I'm gonna get you, witch! And then I'm gonna move up a little bit. That's my turn. All right. That's how it works. So indeed, the uh, archers that you are targeting both target you. You got two longbow shots coming at you. You can't hit crap, though. <laughs> Arrows come go flying next to you and by you. As Sephira just laughs. Chap, he's gonna throw a javelin at Crag. Just seemed to work really well on you. <laughs> at that time. Uh, I'll be at disadvantage. So he's gonna He's gonna throw at Blaze, but it's going to be a disadvantage because he's just out of the range of a javelin. So, disadvantage. 11's going to miss. Womp womp. I'm okay. <laughs> I bet you are. Uh, that is the regular orcs. Back to the veteran. He, the veteran, moves up. He's going to bring a uh, hurt down on a uh, crag. He's got his triple attack, two battle axe attacks and a hand axe attack. So here we go. One, two, and three. 16, I 21, did. and 21. I don't know why the hand axe is piercing damage, but there you go. <laughs> have one of those pointy hands on it. I guess so. <laughs> I mean, at least I'm raging. Oh, at least you're goodness. raging. Indeed, indeed. Um, so that is his turn. He moves up like, ah, you're going down. <laughs> you're like, okay, these, these, those guys Go got stand skill. In, <laughs> <laughs> uh, that brings it up to Tenebrous. All right. Um, I'm going to bring the butter knife over to here. And it's going to make an attack on him. Fifteen's what you need. That's a hit. All right. So six force. 
and I'm also going to um, use my uh, Sacred Flame on him. Damn these cantrips! <laughs> they can be really cool, but they also just, you know... Suck, oh yeah, no, it, it's hey, saver it's, suck. It's and, free. It's free, so, so whatever. Right, and that will end my turn. I said a little butter knife comes out. Like, what the fuck is that? No. And then you're like, dodge you're the best with the butter knife ever. He's <laughs> pretty dangerous with that spiritual butter knife. What god do you worship? He is. I'm just wondering how he does with Toad. <laughs> I worship Parquet. <laughs> you must think me a loaf of bread that needs to be buttered so heavily. I can't believe it's not butter. Um, Osmong, you're up. All right. Third verse, same as the first. Uh, I'll go ahead and float up and uh, try and shoot that archer. Wrong button, ignore that. Dan is not going to hit. And I float back down. Yeah, he's like, no. Oh. <laughs> oh, you got to try to aim at them, man. You got to, like, eyes open. I got snow and dust in my eyes. I got pink eye in my <laughs> right eye. All right, Blaze. going to move up on that. Orc veteran. You know, if, you, if you move to here, you'll definitely have a flank advantage on him. There you go. And he goes, huh? You think to surround me? Joke's on you. I'm surrounding you. And you're thinking, what the fuck does that even mean? <laughs> <laughs> eh, he's trying to be fucking, uh, uh, goddamn, I forget his name from fucking Watchmen. <laughs> <laughs> My favorite character, that guy with the mask, the cool dude. Wow. Rorschach. Oh, uh, yes, Rorschach. Yeah. Rorschach. Thank you. All right. Well, that's a critical hit, isn't it? All I can think was Love Shack. Be... I'm like, I know that ain't it. 28 points of damage. Ow. Good gracious, bodacious. But he is still alive. Oh. They're pretty, he's pretty tough. Ooh, 13 ain't not going to do it. So why am I still alive? Yeah. Yeah, you got him really good with that first hit, but he's, he's he wised up to your tactics and he was able to knock your weapon away with his axe this time. Damn it. All right, that's my... All right, Craig. Well, I was going to reckless attack, but it's uh, pointless now, so I'm going to just swing on the... Do it. All right. <laughs> Shit. Oh, 13 ain't going to hit. It for me. Be able to bring his axes to the defense at this point. <laughs> I told ya. It's a tennis man. Basically. A jelly donut! Move up to there. And we'll hit a thunder wave. And we'll hit just Blaze. He's taking like this cube over here. Oh, oof. <laughs> and scattering bodies on top of Presley. <laughs> bodies flying everywhere. <laughs> Yeah, kind of. <laughs> so, Blaze, you need to make a constitution save. Yikes. Hey, made it on the money. Just what so you need. So you don't get pushed 10 feet, and you'll only take half damage. So instead of 7... It'll take three points of thunder damage. And 
it is the druid's turn. Pajora. All right. Uh, I'm going to get back to my feet. Oh, woo, woo, woo. And shoot. Yeah, we'll try to take a shot on the that dude up there caught in between the flank. And then probably move and bonus action move. Still 10 feet left. And then yes, bonus action. Hit. Six points. Yeah, we'll scoot all the way over to there. And that's it for me. Hey, you got him right in the knee. You took an arrow to the knee. <laughs> Hold on to that arrow. I'm gonna need it for later. All right, I'm going to slide over a little bit more till I see the next guy standing, which I believe is him. Correct. And take a shot with the oath bow. Oh, boo, 12 and 12 is gonna miss. Hey, you didn't get penetration even with the elephant gun. I'm really trying hard not to say that's what she's <laughs> and yet you somehow failed yeah that's right <laughs> yeah I failed the wisdom how can I try to attempt to climb up this area again and hide up here under this tree you certainly can not if you were like last round though Fortunately, it's not as steep of an area there, so that nine is actually going to do it. Do I need to reroll stealth? Uh, yes, you'll need to stealth again. All right. If you think you got a cloak on, you can kind of uh, do it in plain sight a little bit with the cloak. They kind of still lose sight of you. Yeah, because they have disadvantage on looking at me. Exactly. All right. Brings it to Safira again. All right, I'm going after this guy again up here. Okay. Since we have such a good relationship. <laughs> Damn, 25. Dang. Eight necrotic. Ow. Ah. Oh. You witch. I'll kill you. Not doing a very good job so far. Ah. Oh. Is that it? That's it. Alright, well, on his turn, he's definitely shooting back at you. See if he got anything in his, uh, on his dice this time. A nine? I ain't gonna do it. Meanwhile, the guy who's been hexed, or cursed or whatever, he's gonna ready in action. I know that damn flying dude is gonna pop up again, and I'm gonna shoot him when he does. He's going to charge in. He's going to come up to attack Blaze. Hello. Crag. Crag will miss. It missed. And then this one's on Blaze. 13, I'm sure, will miss as well. Hey. That brings it that's to... no way to say. <laughs> uh, that's now the veteran's turn. He's gonna he's gonna divvy up his attacks between the two of you. He's gonna do a battle axe attack on each of you, and then a hand axe attack to try and help finish off Crag. So you got a battle axe coming at Crag. Got a battle axe coming at Blaze, and we got a hand axe coming at Crag. Oh yeah. So it's uh it's half, and since it's odd, do we round down or up? Uh, you always round down in your favor. I... He was unable to hit with the battle axe, but he kind of clipped Crag with his hand axe. 
brings it to Tenebris' turn. All right. So, uh, bonus action to attack this guy with the spiritual weapon. Damn, he is a menace with that butter knife. Yeah, he is. <laughs> That's <laughs> like a surgeon. <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I want to get sandwiches at the fucking Tenebris sandwich shop. Like, no condiments ever spill over the edge of the bread. Like, it's fucking perfect. <laughs> That's fantastic. And then I'm going to follow up with hitting him with Sacred Flame. Sacred Flame, dexterity save. If he can do it. He did it. I ain't yeah, dying yet. It. I ain't yep. dying yet. All right, that'll end my turn. Cosmong. I'm going to do it again. All right, as you pop up, he's got his ready to action. He's going to shoot at you. Do it. 17. 17, Two piercing. Two piercing. Roll your concentration check. (laughs) That's a a constitution save, right? Yes, correct. Oh, yeah, you're fine. You can keep the hex on him. <laughs> Hooray! I blast him. Weave. Seventeen will hit. And ten plus. There we go. There's some damage. Sixteen. Yeah, about he... changing out that cantrip next uh, level. <laughs> I'm like it much better next level. It's a, it's a powerful cantrip if you can hit him. All right. Oh, then, uh, so as a bonus action, I'll set the hex on that other guy that's not as like that other archer up here. Uh, what is the range on that? Uh, 90 feet. I can fly up a, a little closer and then get back. Well, don't you have to keep him within 90 feet? Or no? No. So you pop up, the guy's like, ha! Takes a shot, just kind of barely grazes your shoulder, and then you blast him in the face. He's like, ah! <laughs> Be undone, there, do well. Uh, and then I'll use, uh... Oh, wait, no, never mind. I already used my bonus action. Never mind. Yep. All right. Blaze, it's your turn. See if you can finish this guy off. That will definitely do it. He had two hit points left. Only Don could hit with a secret plan. <laughs> yeah, no kidding. <laughs> so you're able to finish him off if you want to use your frenzy attack. You got this guy trying to stab you up here. Uh, 15 will hit even with his shield, so that's going to be 14 damage. Ow. Woo. Don't like you. I don't like you. And that's my turn. <laughs> All right. Greg, you got a dude up in your face still? Yup. I'm going to smack him one. Uh, reckless. Huh? Not that you needed it. <laughs> Nine points. Oh. And uh, that's it. Okay. Okay, I'm officially confused. What the hell is going on with Osmong Shatterhand's hit point bar? Oh, what the hell? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, holy shit. Two point five. Point. He's playing in 2.5 edition, and he has 208 extra temporary <laughs> hit points. <laughs> uh, what? <laughs> huh? <laughs> we don't question it. We just zero is my push to talk. <laughs> they should make a phone for full-figured women. Yeah. 
It's because he's a warlock. They just get all weird sometimes. <laughs> yeah. That's part of the pact. Here's an extra 200 hit points. But I may take it away when you least expect it, and then all of a sudden you're at negative 60. <laughs> <laughs> so use it wisely, motherfucker. All right, so... Druid just kind of snarls in Blaze's direction. He's going to move up, cast his flame blade. He's going to take a swing at you. Oh! 20 to hit for 11 fire damage. Flam! So I take 11 fire Take 11 fire. He hits you with a blade made of pure flame. Kind of coming right out of his hand. He casts a spell and walked up. Wow. You got tired of watching the barbarian shrug off the normal weapon. So he's like, here, I'm going to stab you with fire. <clears throat> Brings it to Vijor's turn. You guys kill everybody yet? No. All right. Uh, no, I don't think we've uh finished this off yet. Yeah, sounds like there's still some some baddies out there. All right. Let's uh try an acrobatic scramble up the uh the side of the ledge here, uh, heading northeast. <laughs> Let's see if you can do it better than Presley. Um, not really. <laughs> oh. <laughs> uh what does that uh what does that do with uh like how much how much of my turn do i still have left uh that that would be like half your movement as you try to climb and aren't able to sure okay uh how about this no my slipperiness isn't more slippery than the rock slippery. <laughs> um. Well, I got more movement. I'm gonna try it again. Don't. <laughs> Why? Okay, I have a bonus action for extra movement. You will fucking work. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! I finally got up. <laughs> All right, so that's move, more move, bonus action move, and I don't like where I'm at right now, so I'm going to use my action to move more and get behind this tree, <laughs> okay. and that's it. Oh, oh God. <laughs> Should have just fucking walked all the way around the damn ledge, up the hill. Would have been the same movement. <laughs> and I would have had my action afterwards. <laughs> Probably. <laughs> <laughs> all right, that's it. But meanwhile, uh, most of the party got to watch that comedy for a minute. <laughs> <laughs> no, they weren't. They didn't see shit. Safira and Tenebris see me. Maybe uh, Osmon. <laughs> Presley saw him. Presley didn't say shit. <laughs> Unless he's he fighting the dude that's on this around. side of him. <laughs> They're just scrambling around. I now. hear the other people laughing. You guys so just hear her. Oh, oh fuck. So God damn it, son of a. <laughs> you know, I could have uh, casted guidance on you. <laughs> well, it's too bad I haven't done anything nice for you recently to uh, merit such a response. Actually, it is your turn when you're ready. All right, I am. Going to target the druid who I've been watching kind of cast spells. Mm -hmm. And I am going to whisper swift death to those who have wronged me to activate the oath bow. That is a once per day ability. Yep. Okay. I never used it before. I figured it'd be fun to try once. Oh. Definitely hit. Let's see. 25 damage. That almost takes him down in one, but he still has a couple hit points left. 
Uh, let's see if he can keep his flame blade going. Probably not with that much damage. Meow. Uh, nope. If I had rolled one higher, I would have kept my flame blade, but it goes away. All right, then I'm going to use my bonus action to take cover and hide again to make sure that nobody sees me. Hmm. Okay, I'm going to dive into some snowy bushes. Ah, uh, Sephira, back to you. All right, we're going after this guy. Hopefully we'll get him now. will still hit. Seven necrotic. He had three hit points left. Goes <laughs> tum tumbling down the cliffside. <laughs> That's my turn. Okay. Let's see. We've got a couple works left. Uh, we'll have this guy attack Crag. What? Hope I'm not gonna do it. Oof. And then that guy's gonna attack Blaze. Nah, not gonna do it either. Uh, those guys are still sleeping. That's all the orcs. Veteran is dead. I take him off the thing. Uh, Tenebris, that's you. Oh god, here comes the butter knife again. <laughs> All right, time for the butter knife. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Butter knife moves over to here. <laughs> we'll attack him. Butter knife also gets the distinction for the worst zoom ever. It's smaller when you zoom in on it. <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> it's, it's, just a, it's a table knife. Yeah. It's more like a splinter. <laughs> yeah, yeah, Grant. <laughs> six points of damage. Six, Seventeen for six. Ouch. Oh, almost. Oh, so like, close. no! I want to go down to the butter knife like my <laughs> brethren. All right, I move up to here and I stab him with my uh, scimitar because I am not relying on that fucking spell anymore. <laughs> yeah, you still got to roll dice. Hey, I definitely got him. He had one hit point left. Hallelujah. I smell some uh, cooked orc meat after getting hit by that flaming sword. Ew. And uh, that'll end my turn. All right, Osmong. Something tells me Blaze is salivating over that. All right. Uh, <laughs> I'm going to start beelining towards yes. that cliff yes. there. Uh, on my way by, I'm going to cast Healing Light again on uh, Craig. Yachu. Uh, my last two charges. Okay. Seven points of healing for Craig. That's it for me. Woohoo! Alrighty. Blaze. That's your. Oh, turn. wait. No, no, I take it back. I'm sorry. I didn't realize that other archer died. Uh, I'll, I'll toss. Uh, uh, an Eldritch Blast on that one that's almost dead. Oh, both. Okay, that guy? Okay. Sixteen will just hit. Nine. He had one hit point left. All right. Hit. Nifty. All right, Blaze, you got a druid still standing in front of you. His fiery sword went away when he got shot. And then you would. I don't know if he's standing in front of me. <laughs> he is standing in front of you. Uh, you take your sword over your head and mm -hmm. come down and banana man him. Oh, God. Cut him, cut him in half. That, that's banana what I'm man. Like. Can, can I borrow the butter knife real quick? <laughs> <laughs> that's my butter knife. <laughs> Worst impromptu like spread. dice ever. Yeah, for freaking real, man. Look at that. Wow. I thought <laughs> comedic effect you would hear retching in the bush far off to the east. Instead, you hear nothing 
but the coolest nothing you've ever heard. <laughs> and you hear it twice. <laughs> Ooh, give me those Survivor what, Series what the fuck theories. Is happening? Did, did he just con save? And, and yeah, the he, thought he of you cutting save. that guy in twain, I thought was going to make my guy start retching, but instead I wasted two natural 20s for no purpose whatsoever. <laughs> it looked pretty. <laughs> yeah, it did. So that's why you all can hear the coolest nothing you've ever heard coming from that bush. <laughs> <laughs> I'm honestly at a loss of what to do now, so <laughs> I guess that's my. I think we lost somebody from the Discord. Right, bro. Don't forget, there's a couple ar uh, yeah, archers Jared, we yeah, still Jared. need to get. Yeah, Jared's still yeah, in there's... the uh, the game here. Ah, okay. Uh, yeah, those two guys are sleeping up there. Um, I'll be asleep for like six more rounds, I think. And I'm back. I was going to say, uh, it's cool. That was a 1 in 400 chance right there for that concept. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. That's why he's so upset with it. He's like, why did it have to be for that? <laughs> <laughs> I swallowed the wretch without anyone noticing. <laughs> so you have like six rounds to deal with those two sleeping guys. I'm sure you can figure something out in that time. If we're in uh, soft combat, can I just fly behind them and try and push one of them off? Easily. Okay. Like I said, they're asleep. They can't stop you. Ooh, cool. I'm going to fly uh... over and push both of them down to my friends while they just awesome. wait at the bottom, swords pointed up. See, if they were, if they were still asleep, they probably would fail their dex check maybe <laughs> that's my move i'm getting just as close as I right like i said you push them off people you know ready actions to attack them they have 15 hit points they're not gonna be able to do much unless you all just roll natural ones and suck let's get them guys so we'll give you the benefit of the doubt and say that they are now dead Hooray! Can you put their corpses at the bottom? <laughs> I just fell off. Hooray! Like <laughs> Can you make them slow roll down it? Is there a splatted icon? <laughs> yes! Uh, Alright, so yeah, we have been taking care of the... Uh, Right outside the caves here. Looks like they had a couple of combat veterans, a druid, and a cultist with them. All right, should we check the bodies for any um, intel, weapons, anything of use? That'd be a good idea. Loot them for food. Empty air pockets. All right, so you take some time to look through their stuff. Uh, you definitely find some regular like weaponry. There's a battle axes, long swords, uh, two-handed hammers, two-handed axes, javelins, spears, uh, some shields, um, some armor, mostly like hide armor with some breastplates on the combat veterans. Uh, the yeah. druid. What was that? I ask everyone to, to gather around close to me for the next, like, ten minutes after we're done with this so I could cast uh, Prayer of Healing. Where are you? I'm right here at the entrance. Any chance we He's can in the middle of all the bodies. Uh, what was that, Grant? Who said something? I didn't hear you. That was me. What'd you say? I 
I got no, I said, listen to me. I didn't say anything. I think it was arm armor we're talking. I didn't hear whoever said something. Say it again. Uh, any chance we can try and couple that with a short rest? Certainly can. You feel like there's enough? I don't really feel hear like anything coming out of the cave up there. I feel like you might have enough time to get a short rest in. Maybe we can save your spell slot then, friend. Um, well, even with a short rest, I mean, uh, everyone gets 15 hit points. Nifty. And during that time, I've the prayer of healing and the short rest uh, on the druid, you will find a little bit of money. You'll find... That. And uh, two more potions of healing on the druid. Add to your handout. After the short rest, what time of day is it? Uh, you had left in the morning. Took you two hours to get here, so it's right about midday at this point. So since I'm an elf, okay, a short rest puts me into a trance. Does that reset my rage? No, your rage is based on your class, not your race, and that is a long rest ability, I believe. Damn, I thought I saw something about elves with short rest being a trance that recovered health or something. No, uh, that's for long, long rest, rest, not for rest. short rest. Yeah. Um, so yeah, you find the money and two potions of healing on the druid, and you will find another scroll on the fanatic, which I will add to your list as well. The scroll you find is a scroll... Of each bolt. Add it hmm. to your list again. Yeah, I can't read the scroll. Can you read the scroll? I'll take a peek at it. You're not a caster. I'm a warlock. I am a caster. I think every one I'm... of us can cast fire. No, actually, I think I think you can. I think it might be on your uh, spell list. If which bolt is on your spell list, I know it's on Sephira's. It is. Yeah, it I is. have a scroll of which which bolt from our last um, uh, battle. You, you you already have a scroll of which bolt. There's another one. Um, Warlock, is it on your list? Yep. It is. Which bolt is on the Warlock spell list as well? A warlock can use it, Sorcerer can use it. Yes, that's what you find. Two potions of healing, some money, and that scroll. As well as a bunch of mundane armor and weapons. Uh, some longbows, arrows, if you need them. Okay, does anybody else need any healing? Is everyone else good? I'm good, thank you. After that short rest, looks like everybody else is pretty much topped off. You did the prayer wow. of healing, right? Yep. Okay, yeah, I didn't need to use any hit dice then, so... Yeah, I'm good, thank you, man, that feels great. What's the money split? I'm one healing point low. <laughs> Long rest. Do you, yeah, do you want me to expend a charge out of my staff for that one hit point? Long rest. <laughs> no, I'm good. Just being. You know, it's weird when Dan beats me to the long rest speech. 
It is unusual. Uh, the money I posted is the total you have found in this battle. There is also money on the handout already. So if you want to add that to that handout, you can. Or if you want to start add those together and split it up, it's up to you. I just pulled it. Yeah, Pull so right we could do. I just heard someone add. We can we can put that with the rest of the money and uh, split that up while we're taking our time here. Yeah, put it in the pot. In the pot. Anybody want to get high? That I'm gonna go like step under this. Tree over here. I don't want to do math. Someone just tell me what. <laughs> Yeah, bro. Here you go, man. <laughs> I got that. That Elementor edible. <laughs> Gonna get the rock man all stoned. <laughs> got that Kelvin Kush. <laughs> Alright, I'm working on the uh, sheet adding all this stuff in. It'll be a minute. Alright. Good work, everyone. Did you see me push those guys off the cliff? <laughs> that, that was, was a awesome. good one. They never saw it coming. <laughs> That was hilarious. I totally forgot I had Wand of the War Mage. Dang. Oh, forget these things. <laughs> I know, well, right? You, Jeez. When you equip, did you equip it? Because if you equip it, it automatically adjusts your numbers for it. Um, how do I equip it? Oh, yeah. I thought the little check. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's checked. Okay, good. And it should have been using it for you automatically. Excellent. Check your attack blocks to make sure. Yeah, it's in there. Cool, thank you. It's not showing up as damage though. Interesting. You know, it's I completely the, uh... forgot I have a cooking pot in my inventory and I used to use that as a weapon. I think me and the butter knife guy could get <laughs> You know, it's pretty. <laughs> <laughs> um, doesn't look like it's going up on your damage, though. It shows up on your attack block, not on your damage block, weirdly. Okay, so I have posted in the Against the Serpents um, chat block, chat log, uh, another roll 20 link. Shall we go there now? You can click on that if you wish. We are basically going to be migrating from this page to that page because that is the page that Dan has um, so graciously allowed me to use so that we can utilize all of his compendiums. I don't see a link in the chat. It's it's in the Discord. In the Discord. In the, against the Serpent's Discord. Do you want me to come help you? Yeah, because I'm on Discord. I don't see anything. All right. I split the uh, money up. It's in the um, what we found divided by a seven. Oh, I already left. <laughs> <laughs>
How much did we each get? I will bring that over into the um, other page. Ooh, our characters aren't here. Now you're going to have to port them over. Might need help on that. I've never done that. Yeah, it's going to be a little bit of a thing. I might what be able to help with that. We'll see. Scooch me over! Okay. So I gotta fix the stream here as well because it's still broadcasting the old game. So once I get that done, uh, yeah. I wasn't sure how far into this we would get tonight. I wasn't sure how quickly we'd get done this battle, but since we're oh, only halfway in. I mean, still got another hour or so to play. I was like, well, we need to port over then. For sure, you know, for it's sure. Gonna take a, it's going to take a little bit of time, but it's, we got to do it. Oh, definitely. So I launched the game. Okay. Uh, yeah, just click on the link. No, I, I launched the game. I was just making sure. Uh, do I close the other game? or? I leave it open for the moment. Um, Oopsie. If you didn't, that's fine. Um, nothing's happening, but in case there's anything you need to grab from it in the meantime. We're getting there. <clears throat> Is it uh, supposed to be a uh, all black screen? Uh, well, there's no tokens yet, so. Go ya, go ya. Nobody's got any tokens on the board at, the, at this point. Sure. Alright, I will be right back then. Okay. I've got the hey, uh, Brad. stream almost rebuilt. Don't forget to go into settings, audio, video, and then names only under avatar. Yep. So it can fix those big blocks. Correct. Thank you. Yeah, I hate <laughs> Yeah, when I click on the add a character button, it doesn't give me an option to port one in. It won't be through there. No, it's through your main roll 20 page. Right. And there's still a chance I might be able to just move everybody over uh, once I get uh, this yeah. rebuild. So just bear with me a second. Yeah, Dan yeah. might be able to do Will do, Captain! So yeah. you're saying you smoke the bull for a minute. Yeah, well, that's right, brother. That's right. It's basically a, a little bit of a break if you've if you've gotten onto the uh, new page and just hold off for a minute. Maybe we'll take a break smoke for a second. if you got we'll get, I'm we'll not gonna smoke, but I'm gonna go get a little gummy. Audio. There you go. How do I? That's yeah, good. I don't like the chat background beep. There we go. Get rid of that. Okay. My trans. buddy gave me four cases of alcohol-free beer. That's fun. I haven't had a beer in four years. Oh shit. <laughs> uh, are you Tuesdays? Okay, yeah, it does not appear that I can transmogrify from your old page since I'm not the uh, the creator of that page. That's the uh, restriction. So yeah, it does appear that uh, if you want to uh, transmogrify your character, you need to go to the home page. Uh, at the top where it says tools and then I think character vault yes import existing character and then you choose which game you're importing the character from um, are you Tuesdays with Justin and then I can Oh, okay, I can import all of your characters from here, it looks like. Oh, good, good. That makes nice. It okay, so I'm good, importing. Cause that I'm Sweet, because that would have just... taken some work. <laughs> cool, cool. Yeah. All right! Okay, Blaze. Yeah, I was, I was thinking about the logistics of that. I'm like, oh, this is going to be hard to get into. <laughs> Blaze is imported. I almost got there, and then I heard Dan I, say I, he's I, got I, it. Out of every... <laughs> uh, let's see. Craig is next. 
And then, Justin, you'll probably have to uh, reassign, uh, like, link the characters to the sheets. Like, the sheets will be there, but they still won't be able to activate them. I only see Bentonal the Bloodwind as a character. It may be all the way at the bottom of the uh, the you journal as well. It's just that character and then the three handout. If you're not seeing it there, Justin, as well, try... Well, hold on a second. I, it may be something I have to do on the other side. Yeah, I'm seeing some, like, new... Like, those new characters that come up. Like, there's new character sheets that are popping okay, up. Okay, like, like people are clicking the add character button. Kind of, but if they're not blue, they're red. Uh, it's wh whichever player has the uh, the red color probably created that sheet. No, uh, three of them are red, one of them blue. Yeah, probably three three character sheets created by one player, one created by another. I would guess. Uh, oh, Presley. yeah, it looks like it, maybe. Yeah, if you click on it and go to the edit, you should be able to see yeah. who brought it in. Yeah, it's all mythical. <laughs> There's all me. Clutter and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, so Presley is there. Here comes Safira. Um, delete. Put mine in. Okay, so and then I can export them to. I see Crag. Tuesdays here. with J Man. Yeah, I just got mine in. Oh, really? Okay. Yeah, it's actually way easier, easier than I thought it would be. You may see yeah, them appearing that's... twice then. We got Blaze. He's here. Okay, well then I'm going to stop doing this extra part then. It maybe just took a minute. Uh, I will continue with the, uh, the original section then. Finish getting everybody in. Yeah, okay. So, so Presley, Sephira. Yeah. yeah, I still can't see them. Tenebris is next. It's, it's it's coming up. I'm seeing it. We got Blaze. We got Crag. Um, well, it, it was set before, so everyone could see everyone's. Uh, I've never ever seen that until I came into this group. Uh, so it might just be you see your character sheet, and that's it. Yeah, I'm gonna set it so that everybody can see. Just it, it, it allows you to see the character, but not use the character. Oh, yeah, for sure. It's Correct. Just, I've never seen that, y'all. But just it's. It might be set now with the new page that you're only seeing your. Because I only see mine and then the handout. Well, let's just see. Oh, that's the wrong game. I'm launching back into the, uh... <laughs> the old one. Ba, 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 ba. There we go. Okay, I'm loaded in. I see a blaze now. Oh yeah, it looks like yeah, it put all of our uh, all the monster sheets are need to be reorganized again. Yeah. Fine. I have dark vision. Damn. Oh, okay, I was gonna say I was set as a foe. I'll, I I accept. <laughs> okay, you got your handouts all set. 
Uh, characters, looks like there's still just the two, so I may actually have to go do that second step that I ignored earlier. Okay. It looked like it was okay. Uh, yeah, I'm only getting the two. Okay. And, uh, does, does Craig have uh, Craig vision? Uh... Yep, I got 60 feet of dark vision. Okay, good. I'm gonna set your token sight, so I'm gonna go now. Oh. There's two Presleys here. Um, I'm thinking it'll be the second one, but I accidentally imported or exported both of them here. J-Man, export. Okay, that should be everybody exported now. Yep, there we are. Let's see, Osmong. Let's see, sort all of them. Yeah, I have all of them here, so... If uh, there's a delay, uh, rest assured, you will uh, be there in a second. Okay, so all players can good see. Ball, good sir. Uh, Blaze controlled only by Blaze and Justin. Uh, same thing for Craig. Does Osmong have more than 60 feet of dark vision? No, it's 60. I wasn't sure if you had the uh, double sight or not. Once you get the uh, dynamic lighting set up, um, if you do that at all, Justin, mm -hmm. uh, one shortcut you can use that's pretty cool is once you get everybody ported in there, Control L while you are selecting that player's token and you can see through their field of vision exactly what the player sees. Okay. Because once everybody's set in there, it's kind of difficult as the GM to be like, what can this person see? So that's a cool little feature. Okie dokie. Safira, your characters should be all in here. Safira and Tenebris are the only two I've not finished. And uh, Safira is now good. Thank you. Uh huh. Now that they're moved into this, when we go to like level up the next time we uh, do that, will all the new options be available, or do we have to redo the whole sheet to get all the options available? The former. This game, oh, that'd be cool. Yeah, this game is a full participant in our role-playing unlimited shared compendium. I managed to squeeze all eight of the other games into four pages, and I can share it between five pages. So this game now gets uh, full benefit of that without having to do any shifting around. There we go. All characters set correctly. So if I die, I can make a witch in this game. So long as J-Man's cool with that. There we go. I'm not I'll familiar watch. with that class enough yet to a yay or nay. Just don't die. There we go. Yeah, don't die. Okay. <laughs> Always a good rule of thumb. Don't die. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And I can join this as player yeah, I so I don't get any uh, sneak peeks. Aw, oh, man. Because if I joined what as GM, is... that all streams to the uh, the stream as well. Yeah. Um, uh... Don, what is Tenebris' dark vision? Um, all right. Uh, my normal... Let's see. I have Eyes of the Night, which gives me 300 feet of dark vision. There you go. Um, I don't know how much dark vision I have. It just says elf trait dark vision. It's 60. I know what elves are. 
Goblins oh. are 62. Yeah, I just there was a couple that I didn't know who, what they had, so I had to ask. What is this? Usually I would say fuck goblins, but somebody was playing three goblins in a trench coat and they were awesome, so I don't really hate them. As <laughs> That's weird. The character sheets have, like, different text font. Huh? Yeah. And the numbers, too. The sheets. Yeah, it's weird. I, don't, I, I haven't looked at the sheets yet. Yeah, this must be part of another Roll20 beta mode rollout, because... They look a little funky if you're looking at it on the stream right here. Like, my experience points bar is not over here mm. where it should be. It's down here on it. It's entirely own line where no line exists. Uh -huh. And likewise, like, all the numbers. Like, if I hover over it, it goes back to how the numbers used to be. But if I go off of it, there's that. So they're probably just trying to make things look cooler, but still working on it. I wonder if you... Uh... Or does like, uh, like restart it if it would change it at all? Huh, maybe. Um, HR does not have correct. Vision. Yeah, that one right there. <laughs> I should have 20 Did feet you... of bright and 20 feet of dim. All right. Because I just right. use torches. Or I'm sorry, I have a hooded lantern, but I think that's the same thing. Gonna have to get that mining helmet like Grant has, though it's nice to be able to free up your hands like that. <laughs> How do you do bright and dim? Uh, when you turn on vision, scroll down past uh, night vision, you should see emits bright, emits dim. See, emits bright? I don't see... It should be the next oh, one down. Low light, low light. Low light, yeah. Dim. Sorry. I was, <laughs> I was like, there's nothing dim. All right. Who needs dark vision? I got resistance to fire. I grew up near liquid hot magma. Two, three, four, five, six. I think it's everybody. Blaze, Craig, Osborne, Presley, Sephira, Tenebris. The shower. Okay. All right. I think. I think that'll be all we need to get you all over to the new page. So, easy peasy. Didn't take as long as I thought. That's, that's great. Oh, I see Thank what you. happened here. Thank you all for bearing with us on that little transition. For sure, for sure. Oh, definitely no problem. All right. So, you have taken a short rest, got a little bit of healing, did a little bit of looting. And now you are faced with this cave in the side of this hillside, getting deep into the earth. You can definitely smell, smells, it definitely smells like an orc lair. Uh, All right. Uh, before we go too much further, I'm going to do a vigilant blessing on, um, let's go crag. So you have, uh, um, Advantage on your next initiative roll. There you go. No nope. awesome thing. <laughs> All right, what a is your marching order going to be going into this cave? You can uh, it is ten feet wide, so you can be too too wide. I should be close to the front since I'm wearing the plate armor and the shield. Back to the front. I take it the two barbarians want to be in the very front. <clears throat> Do you guys want somebody to scout ahead? Yeah, it'll be a black screen until I move you over to the other map. <clears throat> Sorry, are we supposed to be able to see anything right now? 
Not no yet. Tokens um, you're you're on a map that doesn't have any tokens on it. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, if, you, if you want to see the map, it's the, the map you were just on. You can drag your characters down and drag your tokens onto the board, but it's not gonna really matter. <laughs> just the the snowy landscape from before. All right. Hey, if the two barbarians want to be in the front, I'll be like close behind them. I I don't know if you guys heard me. Do you guys want me to scout ahead a little bit? It depends. How good are you at scouting? Out of game, is anybody else here carrying that, right? a light, or am I the only one? You're, you're probably the, the only, only one. Light. Fucking power gamers. <laughs> Well, then in that case, I, I'm going to be right in the middle, and uh, my hooded lantern has a nice uh, door on it in the shape of a middle finger, so it constantly emits like a middle finger-shaped light everywhere throughout the dungeon. Nice. <laughs> so I don't think he's going to be doing the scouting. <laughs> I didn't volunteer to scout, but yeah, dude's got to see. I'm okay at scouting. I can scout up ahead. Yeah, he is the rogue. I'm a rogue ranger. A rogue turn, rogue turn. Wait, aren't you a rogue too? Uh, I am. Don't, don't I'm a spy. I'm a sp Can't you send the cat ahead to scout? No cat anymore. <clears throat> oh damn! I thought somebody had a cat. <laughs> it's it's uh, the butter knife now. <laughs> at, at one point, somebody did have a cat, but that character left the group. Send the butter knife. <laughs> oh, yeah, send the butter knife. <laughs> yeah, send that thing. What are your butter uh, butter knife eyes see? What did you see, boy? <laughs> are we doing a scouting or no? I I still can't seem to have my token. Yeah, it's the still tokens aren't up yet. I will scout ahead, but if you guys want to just go in with the barbarians first, I'm okay, like sticking right behind the barbarians. Um, let's do barbarians in front, me uh, next in line. Um, the rows, yeah, near the back because they can, you know, they should be have ranged weapons and such. And uh, the two uh, spellcasters um, get in close. <laughs> Mages in the middle. All right. If we are just moving in, then I will move you over so you can see what you got going on next. All right. I'm gonna. I'm going to utilize my eyes of the night, and I'm going to give Dan dark vision for an hour. Oh, what the hell is this? Why is everything <laughs> black and white? Uh, well, hold on, let me change his token then, because he's not emitting light anymore. <laughs> I assume. Yeah, I mean, I will for a few moments, but yeah, by the time we're mechanically uh, in the, the combat, I imagine I'll have uh, had some uh, chance to grow accustomed to it. This is weird. Is this how you guys see? Does that give him 60 feet? Um, let's see. It Here's the what it says specifically. So, um, I would say yes, 60 feet. I don't think it's going to give it the same 300 feet that I have. Yeah, I'm going to start breaking into the who's I can see for miles and miles. Okay, now he's got dark vision. All right, now we'll bring you over to the cave interior. Woo! Look at this. J-Man went all out, got us some lighting. Nice. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. I see a troll. If this is Magic. considered under dark. It is my uh, natural explorer ability. So we get a few bonuses is... fire in here. It's not quite the underdark. It's just a cave in a mountain. Shit, that's not a tavern. 
<laughs> no, 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 <laughs> Man, I wish I, I had this guy's optimism would... hoping for a tavern on the other yeah. side of this. So as you get to this point, as you enter the main cavern area, um, it seems like these uh, inhabitants uh, were aware that you were coming and were ready for you, so it is at this point that we will need to roll initiative. We're aware of them, too. Oh, shit. And since, uh... Well, I'll do it next time, but I can add that group macro in for uh, ease of use later on. Right. Uh, Wait, did manage for initiative? What was that? <laughs> Someone oh. gave wow. Rag. I gave Rag. Advantage advantage on the initiative rolls. Okay, yeah. so I'm going to so use you, that. You, you, you'll, yeah, you roll it twice and use the better one, whichever one was the better one. Right. Yeah, I'll take I hope these are all the low rolls for the entire rest of the game. <laughs> I don't know, I've been rolling low on uh, nearly every Elder Splash, so we'll see. I mean, did anybody... Oh, well, Summer Girl rolled above a 10. I think everybody else was below a 10. What the hell is happening? From group initiative. Okay, I put a group initiative in there for you for a uh, future. Okay. Uh, yeah, I just get this big thing of block that appeared in my chat line. Oh, what is this? gotcha. Yeah, it'll make you, it'll ask you to select which system we're using. So, of course, 5e. And then the basic way to do it is just drag a box around all the tokens that you want to use. And then in the chat log, type exclamation point group dash init and then enter and it'll roll everybody's at once. Right, well, I'll figure that out for next time. Sure, yeah, right now we're already well into it. I just didn't want to forget I'm going pretty low in the initiative here as it is, so I'm going to uh, AFK and make some coffee. Well, cool. I must be getting tired because I was sounding out that acronym and I'm like, away from keyboard doesn't have an F. What? <laughs> <laughs> That's why you're a barbarian. Yeah. <laughs> Look at that, Sapira, top of the initiative again. Yeah, I know. I've already got something figured out, so thank goodness. Sephira can only see some orcs and maybe something bigger kind of near them. Oh my gosh, what is that huge thing up there? Up where? Up to the left. Right, right over here? Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know, what is that? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the initiative tracker might give some things away, but... <laughs> oh, jeez. That's that's uh, your friendly cook. All right. So as you guys come in, you hear the orange. Uh, 
Vera can open up this combat however she feels. All right. Um, so. Either group attack or take out the big fuck. I'm going to. Use this. Russia's caustic brew. Oh, pff. push to <laughs> that. That doesn't help, does it? I no, wonder if I push the... info or this. There we there go. go. A stream of acid emanates from you in a line, so it's it's starting from you. It's like a breath weapon. So you'll be hitting all of your friends with this. <laughs> oh, I thought that I could use it like anywhere that I wanted. Like I could start it at one point uh, and continue it. It emanates from you in a Jump line. So real think, think, high. Yeah. Jump okay, real high. Okay, then I can't. Then I can't use that. No, never. Yeah, never it, mind. It, think of that one like it's like a breath weapon. You drink, you drink something and then go. Bleh. Okay. Cool. Yeah, we're not. Okay, let just let me do some measurements real quick. Well, that is true, Tony. She still wouldn't hit anybody from here. <laughs> or she could be a lizard and climb up the wall and shoot it. A lizard? I mean, she's with them. She's a scaly kid. Kill her! Okay, um... Alright, so I'm gonna use, um... Batter. Here, I believe. Okay. We'll get these three orcs and whatever that is. You, uh, post that. Right now, I got that song in my head. Thunder. It's a thunder. One of them made it. All right, so ten or five. That's ten.
All right, that's it for me. And is that it? All righty. All right, so the druid in here. Cast Lely on a stick, and then he's gonna cast Bark Skin on himself. All right, and that's his turn. This guy up here. Ch -ch -ch. There, and he's gonna. Hopefully, he rolls so bad he casts Spark Skin on all of us instead. <laughs> I admire your honesty. I'll find you an icon for that if you want to proceed with the other stuff. Okay, yeah, sure, that works. Just gonna grab a butter knife again. <laughs> oh, I've got uh, spiritual everything. What do we want? Arrow, axe, bow, club? Uh, dagger. Have you got it? Let's see. Uh... Sword would be the closest. That and... works out. Oh, that's right. If I'm logged in as player, it doesn't let me bring him in. Damn. That's the downside. If I log in as GM, I can see the whole map. My bad. Ah, uh, okay. That's, that's weird. I should be able to utilize him even in this mode. Fix that, roll 20. <laughs> should be able to use the art without having to go to GM mode. Right. I so, wonder though. I can. Uh, I'll just create a page with these extra tokens on it. You can just reference in the weeks to come. I guess that works. Yeah. Uh, so the spiritual weapon will appear in front of Blaze, and we'll attack. You get to grab it. Nineteen and use it. to hit. Uh, uh, uh. No, it's a uh, it's a floating uh, spiritual weapon. Why didn't it give me the damage? Oh, you may have to enable auto roll damage on any of the uh, character sheets because for some reason by default they don't. Although that may be something I can also fix on this side. <coughs> Never had to do that with my NPC sheets though before. Game default settings. That's wrong. Yep, don't auto roll damage. I changed that. Hopefully, that will apply Where's that. that? At? It's uh, back on the home page Where's... when you go into settings. Oh. But okay. I toggled that change over. Oh shit, and now I'm launching into the game on the wrong side. Oops. Alright, so the damage that will do is. Plus, uh... Plus two. Uh, three points of damage. Blaze from a spiritual weapon. Which I'll put on the party in a minute. I'm looking around like, what the fuck just happened? <laughs> There's a little spiritual dagger floating in front of you. Uh, and I swat at are... it. These guys aren't going to stand around getting magic to death, so they're moving in. Oh shit. Oh shit. No! We're all boxed in. Fuck! <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna need 
need somebody to fastball special me out of this fucking fluster cuck. All right, so uh, the first two are coming at Blaze. Uh, let's see, we got these guys, boom. Damn it, still no damage. Yeah, I'm sorry. It's It doesn't seem to have corrected the existing sheets. It'll probably just do it for any new sheets going forward. Got to click longsword right there. Huh, weird. There you go. Yeah, buddy. Alright, now we got another... So, the uh, first one was on Blaze, this one is also on Blaze. Weird. And then we got two on Krag. Get a javelin thrown at Blaze. Well, fuck. And that is them. So only the j uh, javelin hit, and it's three damage. Uh, yeah, if the 16 and the 12 did not hit, then yeah, you're good. Well, you're not raging yet, so you haven't had your turn to rage yet, so it's going to be 7. Oops, okay. God, what the fuck is that? Yeah, Ogre, who oh, comes yeah, out of his little spot over there, takes a look at Crag and goes, ah. A jelly donut! <laughs> <laughs> throws a javelin at Crag. <clears throat> oh, God. Crag's starting to look a little bit like fucking Boromir at this point. <laughs> fucking javelins instead of arrows and Justin's dice rolls are just like Ugh. yeah they just yeah. <laughs> they, were, they were shit earlier now they're like alright we like the new page let's go <laughs> <laughs> yeah this page is upgraded let's do it that will bring it to Craig's turn oh god alright I'm gonna rage and in doing that it's gonna proc that one D The one I've been fucking waiting for. <laughs> Five feet of a creature of your choice. It's three feet. At the end of the current turn, it explodes, and each creature within five feet of it is deck save or take force damage. So you can keep summoning little bombs, basically. Yep, so it's gonna go uh, right behind the one in front of Blaze. Alright, let's get you up. Fucking token for this thing. Uh,
Even if it's like a little fart cloud token, I don't care. There you go, there's your token. All right, so it's gonna explode and everything within five feet of it is gonna do a deck saving throw. That's gonna be what, the 10 feet? Uh, 10 feet? It was on my last sheet and it's not here one second. Uh, I have to bring it up on five my feet. phone. Then five feet. Five feet. <laughs> Right, oh, but yeah. it's a it's a save, and it's not on my sheet. So it's, it's Dex. It's in the little thing here. Um, so, I'll right. so you know what number it is? Uh, oh no, I don't so know I'm what DC up. is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, it would also do it at the end of the turn, so you get to do your turn first, and then let it explode. That's fair. I'm letting it load up. I'm going to, uh, I wonder if that acts as, uh, some sort of flanking. Probably not, but... No, it's not really considered a creature in that regard. Okay, I'm gonna smack the one in front of Blaze. Reckless. One in front of Blaze, not in front of you. Okay. Correct. <clears throat> Sixteen will hit. Eight damage. That, that's enough. He only had five left after all the shit he'd been through. So he did. Sweet. <laughs> Sorry, still loading. Uh, da -da -da -da, spells. Come on. It says it somewhere. <laughs> it's fine. We're, we're... It takes what, as long as it takes. Oh yeah, I'm seeing a lot of bad shit in this cave. <laughs> yeah, what's that big green dude up there in the corner? How do you see that? I have 300 feet dark vision. I know you see that, but how does oh, man. Grant see that? Uh, I see that because I'm watching Twitch too, and and somebody's got a busy <laughs> finger. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure how I see that guy. That guy's a hundred feet away from me, but I the DC see is it. eight plus your proficiency bonus plus your con mod. Yep, I just found that. Thank you. So it's my proficiency bonus, which is two con mod, which is four. Yeah, I should not be able to see out of anybody else's token. So that yeah, is I'm a 16. Your... 16? Okay. I'm looking through your, your Vegor, and I don't see that R with Vegor. Yeah, it's one of the weird Roll20 things. Like, I had a few weeks ago on the, the Monday night map, and all of a sudden, Westy was just like, hey, I can see the whole map. I was, oh, damn it. Sometimes that happens. Like, just one player yeah. will get a flub. Well, it looks like you got it. All right, so one, two, three, guys. Boom, boom, and boom. Uh, well, the two of them make it. Uh, so it's all or none, right? <laughs> yeah, if they make the save, they don't take any damage. But one guy did not make the save. So uh, roll that 1d6. Ooh, six points. Nice. I'll take Juicy. Third, guys. Three. Okay. I'll take a little bit of damage from that thing exploding. And okay. that is it. And you have control of this thing, so you can just move it off the board when it's, after it explodes and then move it back in when you, wherever you need it. Oh. Like I would just like park it over there or something. 
<laughs> oh, you can't see that over there. <laughs> no. Look at there. That works. I can see it sticking out. Uh, well, that's what All you right, said. so that was Craig's turn. That brings it to Presley. All right, because I've got all these big, tall people in front of me. Can I use them as cover to hide? Uh, not technically. That is a halfling ability. They can actually do that because of their racial abilities. So I'm not going to let you do that as well because you're not a halfling. All right. Then I'm going to slide over to this corner and take a pop shot at that guy right there. All right, he's going to have a little bit of cover against that attack, so his armor class is going to be a little bit higher. Dude, I thought that uh, bow was cool, man. That thing sucks. I can't roll <laughs> above a 10. It's the whole time. What the hell is yeah, up with that? You... Yeah, you're holding it upside down, dude. That's the problem. <laughs> yeah, you don't have advantage on this attack, so that 8 is not going to hit him. When that's all I got, if I can't hide, I'm good to go. All right, uh, we just blaze. So I'm curious. With raging, it says I have resistance to piercing damage and bludgeoning damage, yep. and but Correct. I'm still getting stabbed with stuff. Does that just mean that it has the damage? Well, no. So you got stabbed before you activated your rage this turn. Yeah, no, I, I get that. I just, I was thinking that's what the bonus means is that it just halves the damage? Correct. Yeah, it's sort of resistance means you take half damage. Okay. <laughs> Bless you. Oh, shit, y'all heard that. Okay. <laughs> I'd let go of the things that are delayed. Because I'm tight. <laughs> You're good. And that was my attack. No, just kidding. Just one second. <laughs> oh, it's all over me. The boogity man sneezed all over me. I really think he could, like, shatter some eardrums with those sneezes, though. Oof. Maybe that's, like, a new power. <laughs> 15 will hit. Uh, which guy are you attacking? You got a guy to your left and a guy to your right. Guy to the left. Okay. 13 damage. He had five left. He did. Oh, ouch. And since you used your bonus action to rage, you do not have a bonus action to attack with. Oh, I thought my bonus action was the sneeze. Either way, I'm done with my turn. <laughs> that works too. <laughs> Alright, that brings it to Osmong's turn. Alrighty, uh, I'm gonna cast uh, a flaming sphere. I'm gonna look out and uh, say, Frozgi, and uh, summon a flaming sphere right about yeah. Alright, let me see if I can get you a flaming sphere. It doesn't automatically roll back over the entire party when you're done, right? No, I can control <laughs> it. We were talking about this in uh, BG3 is where the Flaming yeah. Spear has a tendency of rolling over um, your own party trying to yeah, get back so to you. <laughs> so annoying. Like, no, stop. No, stop. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if I can find Can I have to draw that? Yeah, I mean, I need to give it to you. That's... Dirt. There you go. You should have that. Can you move that around? I don't seem to have control of it. Oh my gosh, it's a big pepperoni. Uh, you're Jarrett, right? Yep. 
Okay, I gave you control of it. Let me just... I'm gonna give all players control of it. There you go. It should work. Oh, this will be chaos. Let me try reloading. I don't see it. <laughs> uh, I see something on top of the goblin. Is that it? Oh, there's my pepperoni. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> Couldn't control it because you didn't see it. It was over here. All right. Uh, <laughs> and even though I could use a bonus action to move it and smash it into someone... I'm going to leave it right there so that anyone that approaches has to do deck saves, and I will use uh, my bonus action to cast Healing Light on uh, Mr. Craig again. <laughs> he's, he's just a sponge for that shit. For real? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> All right, so we got the Flaming Sphere. Am I the only one that saw a meatball and started thinking the on top of spaghetti song? <laughs> and that'll be the damage they take if they fail their deck save. Okay. Well, we know who that's... somebody sneezed was. Uh, can, you, uh, post... Paul's. One sec. can you post up that full description so I can uh, reference it when needed? Weird that it's not doing it. Doing what? Posting it when the person who owns it didn't, or Jarrett clicked show spell description and it shows a link. It's funny that it's yeah. not show spell description. That that show spell description thing, I don't think I've ever seen it work right. That's why I just go it with always sheet. has for every other game for me. So that's, that's really yeah, it always works for yeah. me. What the fuck is there that? Huh. I mean, people trying to click on it now, like Dan, yeah. obviously, it, but like Jarrett, he's the one that, you know, did it. He sure. should be able to do it. And sure. We, That's weird. Yeah, I clicked it to cast it and it didn't work, but hitting the little speech bubble, that made it actually pop up. Hmm. Any creature that ends its turn within five feet. Okay. And it lies. Uh, it's a spell save 16. Yeah, she has another thing. Sometimes it was wrong, and I don't know why. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Because I had the 15, and then plus the one from the rod of the Pack Keeper. Right, right. Okay. All right, so is that it for Osmong? Yes, sir. All right, Vigor. Okay. This sucks. That's 10. And that's fifteen. And that's that, excuse me, 20. excuse me, excuse me. <laughs> and bonus action disengage. Twenty five. Uh, and then action to move. <laughs> You're like no, no get away. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to go tuck myself in down over there. And I'm going to go prone, as usual. Because, yeah, that is too much over there, and I just see one big spill <laughs> fucking everybody up. Did he trip? He tripped. You say he went prone. <laughs> <laughs> he does have a bad habit of uh, tying his shoelaces the wrong way. Okay. All right, so that was visual. He's just going to get out of the way. I'm in the way. I'm getting out of here. We gotta spread out. I thought for sure though there was gonna be like six more monsters around that corner. I was just gonna be stepping into doom. <laughs> I'm Not shocked that, that it. I'm shocked that it dead ended. All right, you can all hear um, pretty clearly some whipping sounds coming from this direction, and then a loud uh, roar. <laughs> Crazy. Monster no. or animal roaring? Uh oh. Does it have a Dharma stamp on the side? Tenebrous. All right. Um, I am going to, um, go last. Get your pants. Yeah, go last. <laughs> <laughs> I'm 
All right, so I'm going to move up into this spot over here. I'm going to utilize a uh, green flame blade. And basically I make a regular attack roll. So I'm going to attack this one with my scimitar. and the flame will leap over the other guy, right? Yep, three points of damage to this guy. So three points to him. And this schmuck takes ten. Uh, that one's Ow. the schmuck, which one's the schlemiel? Yep, and um, let's see. As a bonus action... I'm going to use uh, telekinesis to push this one into the sphere. Fuck yeah. Who's that? You have telekinesis? That's a level five spell. Or a fourth like, level feet. <laughs> it's my fourth <laughs> level feet. Yep. <laughs> As a bonus action, I could try to telekinetically shove one creature within 30 feet. Uh, strength saving throw, so the saving throw DC is a 13 versus, uh, yeah, so. <laughs> nice. Okay. Nice. All right, so that's on um, this guy, right? Correct. All right, so it's orc. Strength save. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> he had that ready to go. <laughs> <laughs> I was bouncing between both. It was either going to be ah or ha ah. <laughs> So that means if he bumps into it, he takes 10. Is that what it was? 10 fire. That's what I rolled, yeah. Fire, fire. All right, he had seven points left, so he did. Oof. Barbecue. Well, <laughs> yeah, hey. that's like the, the super sneaky ability that I had that I didn't use it all until right now. <laughs> it looked like a fucking Jedi over there. like, round, round, yeah! <laughs> and that right. will end my turn. <laughs> okay, and that will be the end of that initiative round, and it is 9.30, so that is where we will stop for tonight. Uh, make sure you take any notes you need to take. Already got my sticky note ready for next week. All right, because we will be uh, starting off in the middle of this fight next time. Good stuff. Very cool. Toward the end Good of game November. Tonight. Yeah, absolute great, uh, great uh, session here, J Man. Great job, everybody. That's Thank funny, you Craig. Use that, use that uh, note to self last time. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. <laughs> and I was, I had a perfect lineup when we were out in the snow, and then it all went to shit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, fortunately, all my magic items kind of added into the existing sheet because I had to double check. I'm like, am I forgetting anything? I have the boots of Elven kind, so if I want to tiptoe through the tulips, then I have an advantage on that. But I mean, how nice. is that? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Uh, next level, I get an extra attack finally. Oh, I can't. Wait. Yeah, yeah. For sure, that's Heavy. why I'm dipping into fighter. I need more, uh, more attack output. I'm thinking about dipping into fighter. Nice. Oh yeah, no. Next round, next, uh, my cantrip damage goes up. So my green flame blade will do one, an additional one d eight plus one d eight plus three to the guy next to him. Oof. Yep. Two Eldritch Blasts! <laughs> <laughs> well, oh, and I get more movement. I'm Yeah, I'm pumped for next level. Yep. Uh, I survived this fight, and you just might get it. I'm down, I'm down. You got, you got some pr pretty uh, beefy opponents in this cave. <laughs> oh, I know. Well, yeah, and we're, and a polar we're getting rid of all the little guys first, and then all the beefy guys are going <laughs> to yeah. be like, yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> no, I'm going you after the beefy guy. Got the ogre coming right there. You got a polar bear being herded towards you. Who knows what else is going on up top? I mean, 
Somebody saw that it, it might have been a troll up there. But... <laughs> yeah, I can see it. I've got 300 feet. I can see yeah. it. Yeah, I mean, the map started <laughs> off right on there for me when I logged in. That's why I was like, oh, God, it's a troll. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, fire or acid, and we've got plenty of fire. I'm grateful for the That's dark vision here, sneezed. so I'm not like a beacon of light over here by myself in this corner. <laughs> Who's over there? <laughs> <laughs> nothing. Nothing. And I'm it's I'm a concentration thing. So if I go down, you still have your dark vision. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, uh, yeah. Uh, shoot. I mean, this is going to be a tough one for sure. Oh, yeah. Uh, they're designed to be milestones for a reason. You only have a couple fights to, before you level, so. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and if yeah. you use the uh, the PHB or the DMG, whatever, uh, adventuring days for XP, what have you, it's basically like uh, if you're a dedicated adventurer starting at level 1, after about 50 days or so, you're probably level 20. And every <laughs> uh, first and second edition character of any class that had to use different experience charts like the rogue required 1250 xp to hit level two whereas the wizard required 2500 xp they're giving you all a solid middle finger <laughs> 50 days to hit level 20 suck a butt <laughs> wow i'm like yeah every other session is kind of how they expect it in 5e right i'm glad we were able to get this uh ported over really quickly yeah and i'm glad this map was working out that was yeah, that was surprisingly clean. Kudos. Yeah, yeah. absolute. Absolutely, yeah. And uh, so, yeah, all the maps going forward with this new page. We'll uh, be good to go. I'm going to just uh, delete my old page so I don't have to worry about going to the wrong one. Sure. Cool. Yeah, good call. Just make sure you have everything. It's a toast to the old page. <laughs> make sure you have everything uh, ported over from there. Or you can just kick us out as players and keep the page just for yourself in case True. there's a slim chance you True. need something. I do that with all my old pages. I have all of them still. Just in case. Yeah, that's <laughs> a big fact. What's up? Yeah, I might just... I said big fact. <laughs> yes, yeah, sir. Big fact. Yeah, I might just do that just in case I have something I need yep. in there. You never know. All right. Well, I had a lot of fun tonight. I hope you all did too. Oh. Absolutely. Yeah, that was awesome. Thank you. Yep, great time. I'll post up my uh, Tuesday night roundup here on uh, TikTok coming up within the hour. Depends on how long it takes me to record the video. And then uh, tomorrow night, friends, 6 p.m. Pacific, we return to Wednesday night. Tabletop against the All Power. Definitely the deadliest and most powerful foe any of the eight tables have faced thus far. And uh, yeah, I expect all kinds of uh, epic action dialed to 11 and uh possibly even uh a bit more bloodshed or two and uh otherwise uh we're not back after that until sunday so uh we'll save the hype for that for later on in the week catch y'all tomorrow night hope you have a great evening friends are you with us Woo night everybody Woo everybody good night good night, good night. get to the chopper ow, ow. do it
Say goodbye.